14 years, Keeping Up the Kardashians aired its final episode on Sunday. Don't they all look the same? <laughs> <laughs> and what a 14 years it's been for them. 20 series, 11 Kardashian offspring and eight new celebrity artists, if you include Scott Disick, that is. <laughs> Like all iconic, heartwarming success stories, theirs started with a murder and a sex tape. <laughs> the show follows the lives of a dysfunctional, rich American family consisting of six women, all named by the letter K, by a megalomaniacal mother who has a psychopathic desire to live forever. But my God, is it entertaining. <laughs> Kardashians have come to embody us all. Shallow, vain, narcissistic, money-obsessed. <laughs> Khloe Kardashian recently said that she won't let baby True watch the show until she's 13, which is funny, cos she's let her be in it since she was born. A bit like Meghan telling Harry he can't watch the Oprah interview until he's 40. <laughs> They've also gotten some stick for cultural appropriation and stealing looks, which is something I am all too familiar with. <laughs> Kylie in 2020? Me in 2017. <laughs> Looks like we went on the same safari, is it, babes? <laughs> um, here's Kim in 2020 having a little ride with her daughter. Um, she's completely and utterly exactly matched the skin tone on her face with her horse. I mean, she is <laughs> fashion. <laughs> and here's me in 2019. OK. <laughs> this horse costume said one size fits all girls, not steal all of my ideas, all right? Back off. <laughs> Kylie in 2015, offending a lot of people. She looks like she's overdressed for a physio appointment now. <laughs> and here's me in 2015 in February. Kim in 2006. Me in 1996. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, that family have been copying me since year seven. <laughs> the Kardashian show may be ending, but trust me, babes, they ain't going anywhere. Caitlyn Jenner's running for governor of California because why the fuck not? <laughs> Kylie won't rest until her under-the-sea lip kits have made their way into every household and every ocean. Dolphins will be swimming around with big, sexy dolphin lips. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not the end of an era. It's just the beginning, because I've seen it in my crystal ball. And I've got a message for the people of 2081. <laughs> Dear people of 2081, do not vote for Northwest Logan Paul. She will start another war with China. She's lying about that free lip filler and selfie stick for single mums. It's all a lie. Vote Bieber Jr. Vote Bieber Jr. He ain't perfect, but you won't all die. How are the dolphins? Still sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love, Jade. <laughs> so as their show comes to a close, let's take a look at the legacy of keeping up with the Kardashians and the lessons it has taught us. One, that beauty is within and talent is paramount. And no matter what you look like or where you're from, people will take you seriously if your soul is honest and it's pure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Two, if you're a student, exam results don't matter. Kim just failed her first year law exam twice and she's still a fucking billionaire. So don't you let it stress you out, babes. <laughs> Three, you can change your face and your husband's as many times as you want. It's called self-care. <laughs> and finally, that the KKK aren't the worst group of Ks in America. <laughs> but if I've learned one thing, it's this. Don't laugh at them, because while we do, they're laughing all the way to the bank. They've become billionaires from selling shit makeup and weight loss products to teenagers. I'm not going to lie, guys, I want $2 billion, <laughs> which is why I'm quitting comedy and getting in to the beauty industry. <laughs> I'm Jade Adams, beauty blogger. <laughs> Let's face it, you all want to look like me, and that ain't bloody possible, mate. <laughs> I can't go back in time and sort your genes out, but I can make you look a little bit less minging. <laughs> minging. First, apply your face on fucking foundation for my jade range. <laughs> to truly unfuck your face, you're probably going to need quite a lot of this, but don't worry, because after it was banned in almost 50 countries, including in the UK, I've got warehouses full of this shit. <laughs> warehouses. Secondly, use Jade Adams lip filling knuckle duster. <laughs> Basically, take these and then punch yourself in the mouth repeatedly until your lips are nice and pert. I ain't gonna do it, babes, but you do it, cos you're fucking minging. You're minging. <laughs> then call up my favourite pub, the Duck and Bigot, and order my special curry, the Chicken Tikka Masal Manella. <laughs> Type in the code Jade is fit as fuck. Oh, my word. For a discount and then watch those pounds drop. Because after three days of almost unbearable illness, you're pale, you're shaking, but fundamentally, you'll be beach body ready. 